Hi guys, I'm Ishan Sharma and in this video I will show you distribution plot and joint plot. But before starting, I want to say that we are close to 600 subscribers. So please hit that mark before the end of January. So let's get started. So first of all, I will import pandas, matplotlib and seaborn. Now I will read the CSV file in a data frame. So this CSV file contains three columns, group, literature and grammar. So each entry signifies a person which belongs to one of the two groups A or B with the respective marks in literature and grammar. Now I will create a distribution plot. The X axis is the marks of literature and the Y axis is the count. With this plot, you can get the idea of distribution of the data set. Each bar is called bin and we can control the number of bins. For that, we need to add one more parameter here. I will set the bin size equal to 15. You can see that the number of bins have been reduced to 15. We can also overlay the normal distribution. For that, I will make KD is equal to true. So this is the curve of normal distribution. We can also add rug plot here, which is basically the one dimensional scatter plot. For that, I need to do rug equal to true. So this is the rug plot. Now let's move on to joint plot. So this is the code for joint plot. Data is equal to DF, X axis is equal to literature and Y axis is equal to grammar. So the joint plot comprises of three plots. It contains one scatter plot and two distribution plot. So by seeing the scatter plot, you can understand the relationship between the variables. And by seeing the distribution plot, we can understand the distribution of each variable. Now I will show you some variations of joint plot. For that, I will copy this basic code. I will show you the hexical kind of the joint plot. For that, I need to make kind equal to hex. Here you can see that the dots have taken the hexical shape and more closer the dots were, the more darker these hexical shapes are. Now I will show you one more variation. In this kind will be equal to KDE. We can also make shade equal to true. So this is the normal distribution of scatter plot. And this is normal distribution of each variable. And the final variation will be hue equal to group. Here you can see groupwise division in the scatter plot as well as the distributions of each variable. So that's it guys. I hope you like the video. Please like, share and subscribe and I will meet you in the next video.